top model finalist who's had everybody talking, Google, talking, Googling, and <laughs> blogging, blogging about her. Our first transgender finalist on America's Next Top Model, Isis. Um, so, Isis, what does it feel like as, as, because you feel that you're all girl, but you still, you're a pre op, right? Mm -hmm. It's called pre op transgendered person, which means you still have penis. You still have. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> I, that's a real word. Um, I still have. The parts. I didn't have my surgery yet. Oh, there we go. She didn't have her surgery yet. Um, so, how does that feel? Because it's like you're a woman, but then there's something every day that you have to see and go, I'm inside a woman, and everything else is just. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Um, I really try not to really think about it. Um, I try not to think about it on the show. On Top Model. Oh, come here. I try not to think about it because it is something I'm really passionate about. And I feel like I really was born in the wrong body. And, you know, it's just the one thing that makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. And on the show, I know that was really extra hard for you, too, because it was. certain girls have to worry about smiling with their eyes. <laughs> Be fierce. And you're like, okay, I'm trying to do that, but I'm in a swimming pool in a bikini and having to hide that. And, you know, it's, it's funny. When I was on the show with you, I never thought of it as, like, emotional. I thought of it as more technical. I didn't know that there was this emotion. I, I think, honestly, more so it was more emotional. Because yeah. technically, like, you know, you could do what you have to do. I did that, but it was more mental. You know, yeah. it was more going through the situations, the pool for the first time, you know, or different things. It was just, it was just Having to deal with that. that. Yeah. That. I, I could see the worry, like, on your face and dealing with that. And look at that. It was like, I feel like I, I was happy because I actually conquered it. You know, yeah. like, of course, that's the shot that got me sent home. But at least, you know, I conquered it's, it. That's interesting that that was the photo that got you sent home because there was so much worry in your eyes. It was almost like your eyes were dead almost. And you have such light in your eyes. But they were dead. And now I know why. I'm like, um, this was my perfect smile with your eyes. I'm good with my eyes. And that was the one... Yeah, because there were so many other things you were wearing, things popping out, things happening. <laughs> I, I understand. No, I understand. Why, um, why haven't you gotten the surgery? It's like it costs a lot of money. How much money does it cost? Um, between like twenty and thirty-five thousand. Twenty and thirty-five thousand dollars. It costs a lot of money, but you know, I feel like I'm going to go far with my career, mm -hmm. and you know, after I actually get my foot in the door, I feel like it won't be as hard yeah. to save my money. Well, I says I really care about you a lot, and um. I know that the surgery means a lot to you, a lot, a lot. And um, I invited somebody here today um, that I want you to meet. Okay. Okay. She's like, what's going on? <laughs> Come on out. I think Isis recognizes who this person is. She's a very famous, very famous person. Um, you actually are one of, I, I wouldn't even say one of, but the leading gender reassignment surgeons. Her name is Dr. Marcy Bowers. Very, very, very famous doctor. I've known about you for years. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And um, you actually have experienced the surgery yourself? Yes, it's a little known fact, quite in the past, and I consider myself a woman, but uh, I did in Isn't fact Isn't that trippy? Have... She's a girl, right? <laughs> like, yes. I truly believe this born in the wrong body thing, because it's all up on the couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you have some news for ISIS. What news do you have for ISIS? Well, I just want to say your story really touches my heart, and I saw you actually first on MSNBC, I think, isn't that, is that right? And... Um, but I can relate to you, and I know how much different, what difference that surgery can make in your life uh, and improve things for the better. So what I want to do is evaluate you for the processes of going through the surgery. Okay. And if I can get the money together, I'd like you to come out, assuming you want me to do your surgery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to do this for you. Thank you. This is not happening. This is not happening. How do you feel? It doesn't feel like it's like I'm about to wake up. Yeah. I'm about to wake up. Thank you. You're welcome. Both well, for you. You're welcome. We've introduced you to Dr. Marcy, 
and this is your decision, your time. It's not pressure from us mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. You were ready. Time, time is like five years ago. <laughs> okay. We're behind schedule. All right. And I'd be honored to follow your journey. Would you allow us to follow sure. your journey? You would? Are you serious? Thank you. <laughs>